G'day everyone, Eric Murray here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how good form equals free speed. Okay, when we get on the row machine, we want to try and get the best technique possible. Okay, and we talk about a correct technique. But when we talk about a correct technique, there are a lot of factors that come into play. Whether we're short, tall, a little bit unfit, or whether we are fit, okay, our flexibility, there's a whole lot of things that come into that equation, okay, but ultimately what we need to try and achieve when we're on the rowing machine is getting as close to the biomechanical movement as we can for the rowing machine, which will give us very good consistent speeds, okay, now when we're on the machine, we've got to make sure that we're trying to row in the most consistent fashion possible, okay, rowing is about a rhythm, it's about a feeling, it's about using ourselves as the engine and the machine in sequence to go as fast as we can. Okay, so when we're not working hard by driving the machine, we're actually using the machine as part of our recovery. Okay, and that's what the consistency comes under in terms of the rhythm. Okay, we try and get the correct movement, which is the sequence of the legs driving the body through, the arms hanging off it, okay, and getting through to that finish as easily as possible. And we have to do that in a full range in our training, okay? And we have to remember that it's very important to go through a range of stroke rates and keep that form at the same time. Now, we do the bulk and the majority of what we're doing on the rowing machine at a reasonably low stroke rate. And the reason being is that we can't sit on here for huge amounts of time and beat ourselves up by just sitting on quite high ratings. Okay, if we can dial in the technique as best as possible, sitting around that sort of 20 stroke rate, what it allows us to do is it allows us to really focus on our form, okay, really dial in that technique and get that sequence done as good as possible, and then we can carry that through all the stroke rates till we get up to our race pace, okay, now race pace as well, very different for everybody, some of us might only be at 28.30, some people might be up at 36 or higher, Okay, and that's really what it comes down to is it's individual, but at the same time we've got to learn how to go to that position. Okay, we don't want to be doing a certain technique at low rates and then throwing it out the window and doing something different when we get up to that high rate. Okay, and that's that consistency. It's the consistency that we develop through that training while we're getting it right at the low rates, pushing that aerobic ability and then taking it up through those rates so that we see that increase. Okay, we see an increase in speed as we go up through those ratings, okay? Now while we're working on this correct form, okay, and this consistent rhythm, we really have to be thinking about doing it in little bits, okay? We can't think about doing everything in our stroke all at once, otherwise there's just so much going on. Okay, and that's why when we sit on the machine, it might be like, you know what, today I'm really gonna work on my front end. I'm gonna work on the rhythm around the catch. Or actually, I'm going to really focus on not lifting the shoulders off the catch. Or I'm going to think about not pulling it into the finish. So while we're doing our work, we're really thinking about a couple of parts of the stroke that we need to dial in just so that we focus on one or two things. Okay, If we focus on too many things at once, we're really going to go away from, from the focus of trying to get this correct sequence and form, which is going to give us that speed. Okay. So there's a lot that goes on when we're sitting on the row machine. There's a lot of the techniques that we've got to consistently and continuously work on. But the fact is that if we can really dial it in at low rates, okay, get it right, keep working on it, really put the effort in, then it just allows us to go through these sequences, go through these ratings, okay, and get better and better as we progress on the machine. Okay, so... The better we do things, the better our form comes, the f more speed that we can find, okay? And that's why having good form does equal that free speed, okay? Rowing, it's all about a rhythm, it's all about a ratio, getting that momentum going, and it's you versus the machine, okay? So we're just here to try and make you go as fast as you can while you're sitting on the machine. So I hope that helps. So I hope you enjoyed it. Plenty more to come, tune back in here next time.